so we have project blaze version based on android 13 project blaze version 2.0 is here which includes some of the new things and yes this room actually has some unique things which i'm going to talk about in this video so stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end for sure we're talking about based on android 13 a lot of android 13 based custom rooms are already out project blaze was a little bit late but yes it's okay maybe it's worthy some of the maybe very very minor features are missing from here but that's just okay as it is initial build let's see which other things have been added in this version and from my personal opinion in the terms of ui this is super good as compared to any android 13 based custom room so far maybe except rice right first of all if you take a look at the default launcher although even if you're using the google apps version or if you're using vanilla version you will see this launcher which includes some of the features like action tools double tap gesture and all apps themed icons double tap gesture to i mean double tap to sleep and all apps themed icons which is working perfectly fine except two or three icons which are not themed but yes it was expected the quick settings panel is a thing like if you don't know if you installed project blaze based on android 12 or android 12.1 you saw that android 11 style quick settings panel was there and now same has been introduced with android 13 too for me it's just super good and as far as i know while you Using Android 13, I did not got any ghost move which got this Android 11 style quick settings panel. So yes, one of the positive things about using this, this is a very interesting things what we have. And another interesting thing is in the settings. The settings UI is changed. You now you have the welcome to project please greetings. This looks interesting and one of the best thing is you can turn off this. This is actually quite good. I mean, it's good they have implemented this, but if some of you does not like these things, you can simply disable this option and by default it is disabled. You can enable this option from settings. I'll talk about this later on. If you move on to the gestures option, swipe to screenshot is there it's good playback control is there it's good but one thing little bit of disappointment like in gesture navigation you cannot hide the navigation bar pill and about the space below the keyboard no tweaks are available here unfortunately but you can use other modes if you want to by using magis what we have is if you move on to the battery stats the ui seems quite good this is a very common ui right now i mean a lot of customers are implementing this and this looks quite good i think so it's just my personal opinion if you like this it's good if you don't like this simply ignore this thing this thing does not play a major role if i move on to security options we have fingerprint we have other options like pin log etc but we don't have the face unlock we don't have the app log but yes it was expected no worries nothing to worry about that if this is not a major priority for you you can simply skip this option wallpapers and style also have one more thing as it is not having the pixel launcher pre-installed so let's just take a look at the app grid options we have three options available three into three four into four and five into five which are most common right now and yes it's good too no extra grid options available you can try installing any other launcher modes if you want to but it's up to you if i move on to the customization section we have some status bar theming quick settings panel customization lock screen customization and some of the customization related to system and all these customizations are quite good i mean most of the useful customizations are there as i just mentioned at the starting of the video some of the minor things are not present but it's absolutely okay as it is initial version first of all if i move on to the theming section fonts icon pack etc etc customizations are already included but lock skin clock style has some extra styles available for you like we have the oxygen os style clock style available if you want to enable this you can for example if you want to use the spark clock style let me show you which is this like this this is how the ui is looking like you can even customize it to spark circle so we have approximately five styles of lock skin clocks and yes these looks quite interesting so if you are one of the users who love to customize the lock screen clocks you can use one of these icon pack fonts wi-fi icon icon style etc options are there and this is the setting style which i just mentioned at the starting of this that you can customize the settings ui by default the ui is like this and you can customize it according to your own preference you can use a new ui option if you want to so it's absolutely okay along alongside with theming options some of the status status bar customizations as expected just kind of same quick settings 
this panel has the option for quick setting transparency yes now we have the android 11 style quick settings panel and if you enable the transparency after changing the transparency value you simply need to restart your system ui and done and let me show you how the ui is looking like and as you can see this is how the quick settings panel is looking like by enabling the transparency level to number five the transparency looks super good it's just my preference and other than else you can see some of the basic options are available here and there these were things i just want to let you know this was about the first look of project blaze based on android 13 i hope you like this thanks for watching goodbye